Apple's got a new MacBook Air that offers you more for less, and new Mac Studios that offer you more for, well, more. They're as expensive as you might expect. The MacBook Air is Apple's bread and butter laptop for everyday users. It's pretty much been our perennial top recommendation for most people since the M1 generation made the switch to Apple Silicon back in 2020. Now, the new model for 2025 looks pretty much exactly like the past two generations, but it's got a cool new color. That color is sky blue. While Apple continues to be afraid of using big, bold, and saturated colors in devices other than its adorable iMac, I'll concede that sky blue looks pretty nice on the MacBook Air. But if not for this color, you'd have a tough time telling it apart from last year's M3 and even the previous M2 MacBook Air. All the other changes are on the inside. What's also new for the MacBook Air is that it's getting the M4 chip, starting out with a 10-core CPU and 8-core GPU. Also, the Air can be used with two external monitors and still keep its lid open for a triple monitor setup. And the final upgrade is it's getting a 12 megapixel center stage webcam. It's the same one that's on the M4 generation MacBook Pros. But the update you may care most about is that it's actually cheaper than last year's M3 model. The 13-inch M4 MacBook Air starts at $999, and the larger 15-inch starts at $1199. That's a $100 price cut for both. Look, I'll be blunt. I was fully prepared for this MacBook Air to be a big snoozer of an update. And in some ways, it kind of still is. I mean, being able to keep your laptop lid open while using two external monitors is nice, but it's more fixing mistakes of the prior gen models than it's delighting us with groundbreaking new features. But when you offer new improvements and lower the price, that's a huge surprise, especially from Apple. Now let's not forget that Apple raised the base memory of MacBook Airs from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes just last October. So now its entry-level Air has 16 gigs of RAM and starts at 999. It's not massive, but still pretty good. Now Apple also has two other new computers for us and they start well, well, well above 999. There are two new Mac Studios, the M4 Max and the higher-end M3 Ultra. Yes, the M3 Ultra, the one with the lower number, is the flagship model that costs the higher number. As if Mac names weren't annoyingly complex enough. Think of the M4 Max Mac Studio as the M4 Max MacBook Pro from last year, but in a desktop form factor with more ports. It starts at $19.99 with 36 gigabytes of unified memory. That's four gigabytes more than the previous model and 512 gigabytes of storage. And four of its six USB-C ports are Thunderbolt 5 which is new for the studio. But the top-end Mac Studio is now one that uses an entirely new chip, the M3 Ultra. Apple is billing this as its most powerful silicon yet. This M3 Ultra Mac Studio has over 800 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth, and it can be outfitted with up to a 32-core CPU, of which 24 are performance cores, and 80, 80 GPU cores, twice as many as the M4 Max. You can even spec it with up to 16 terabytes of storage and 512 gigabytes of unified memory. That's over half a terabyte of friggin' RAM. Of course, those top tier configurations are gonna cost a small fortune. Insert vast sum uh, about right here. And the M3 Ultra Mac Studio is really only for the most hardcore pros doing things like 3D design and development work. They're not really meant for mere mortals. And it's priced accordingly, as the M3 Ultra Mac Studio will start at $39.99 with a 28-core CPU, 60-core GPU, 96 gigabytes of memory, and a lowly one terabyte of storage. The M4 Max M3 Ultra naming scheme may be really confusing, but it's clear that Apple is continuing to aim ultra high in its performance when it comes to its big time Max. But it's simultaneously a pleasant surprise that there's something nice and somewhat affordable for us plebs with the M4 MacBook Air. I didn't think the M4 Air would be a monumental improvement or some kind of big shakeup. I wasn't expecting that much, but some nice little spec bumps for a cheaper price, not bad. Thanks for watching. We'll be reviewing both the MacBook Air and the Mac Studio really soon. Let us know though in the meantime, what would you do with half a terabyte of RAM? Open a million Chrome tabs? A billion tabs? I don't know. What's eating your RAM?